Hello guys and this is the 18th tutorial of the series and today I'm going to be going over how to adjust your camera to the different type of game style that you are making for example first person, third person, top down, side scroller I'm going to go over how to change that in Kismet with the um, attached to actor with and a camera actor so to start off I'm just going to explain what the basic default uh, uh, camera mode is. You can't see it at the moment so I'm just going to quickly save the map as DM and then I'm going to change it as I'm going to save it as camera DM camera just so I can show you the gun and you'll see that I am using a first person view which is default for UDK. So if you want to change that you can just type in If let's say you just want a default third person you just type in behind view in the console command so if you want to get to that just press tab or press talk and then just remove the say there's loads of different commands in there I'll show you how to get to those later and how to change them around see what they do in the fo in the uh, config file itself which is going to be going into some more in-depth stuff so to first to change it into like a top down game first of all you want to go to act class in the content browser move a camera actor out it's gonna move it up a bit and then you want to go over to kismet I'm just gonna tell you this once do not use a level loaded event with uh, the camera actor as it will not work you gonna need a player spawned so rather than just going to new event and then level loaded go to new event player and then player spawned well, the player spawned since the character might die multiple times just gonna change it to zero uh, so, which is infinite and you can change the spawn point as you'll see I should be able to find one here just click that see this way you can change which spawn point it does what uh, camera angle or whatever you're trying to do let's say you're doing an alternating third person first person game so just gonna make a new object variable using player start and then spawn point so whenever they spawn there it will trigger that event and it will go so I'm not gonna do that for now there's no point so I'm just gonna go to new action and then camera and then set camera target just so it targets the player so you move it around and you'll see what it does in a bit and then after that you're going to want to make a let's see if I can find it um, actor and then attach to actor so now you're just going to want to put the output of the play spawn into in and attach to actor then output of here goes to in and then the target you're going to want to make a player variable let's go to variable player and then player attach that and then you want it to attach to the camera so make sure you select that right click new object variable and drag that down you'll see uh, the set camera target is pretty much using the same thing so you're just going to control click to get both of those together control C and control V move those target and cam target so now I'm going to show you how to move this around with relative offset and relative rotation so make sure you ch check both of those so now they'll actually apply it so if you press play you'll see your camera will be a little bit weird due to where the camera is and you're somewhat inside your actual player and that's just because where your camera is located and that is set to zero 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 on the scale on the XYZ scale so I'm just going to show you the basics of how to make a quick top down game so offset basically is how far it's going to be away from the player up down left right whatever so I'm going to Z you can see which one which way is which over here with the XYZ if you can't remember you don't know already so just going to go to Z and set that to something like four, uh, you're not 512 so if I press play now I will be directly up uh, I'll be directly above my player but I can't quite see him so I need to rotate my camera 
down here you've got your roll, pitch and yaw basically roll is will change it uh, it will roll it on its side but just for a pitch which will do it front ways I'm going to change that to something like negative 90 degrees and if you press play you've got your basic uh, top down game or you can change that around and make a side scroll and you'll see it won't go past the box seeing as I've got the attached to active function so if you want to change this around maybe let's just set this to you know you can probably play around with that work it out yourself it isn't really hard just need to play around with different settings get familiar with which ones do which and how to use it now I'm going to show you how to do a player spawned behind view which was the third person view that I showed you earlier I'm just going to click on here control C control V right click break all links I'm going to delete all of these quickly because I won't need any more, any more of these. I'm going to be doing a third person view. So we can go, go to new action, miscellaneous, and then console command. So if you go to out, put that to in. And this is the basic FS command system. So with that, you can add commands in here. I'm just going to make sure that's still set to zero and I'm going to put in the behind view command so when it does that it will go to behind you but if you press play it does nothing because you have no variable for the target so I'm just going to right click new variable and then go to player put that in default is all players anyway so you want to change that unless you're doing like multiplayer with alternate alternative uh, people so I run off you'll see that I'll still have my third person view let's run off the edge here I'll die spawn, and there we go instant it's just like Gears of War you can change you can make your own custom uh, camera mode with these relative offset and relative rotation which I showed you earlier but you're not really going to need to worry about that let's just see the little commands here I'll show you how to get to those and get your list of those. So just go to my computer quickly. I've already got that up in my libraries. Go to distro C or wherever you got UDK installed. Go to the folder. And then you'll go to UDK game, config, and then go to UDK input. Let's make this bigger. You'll have this is more the coding side. It will show you some of your different key bindings. So let's say we go up here duck which is basically crouch basically this first bit is uh... just telling them what it should do yeah this is what I was telling it what to do like go on the axis how to duck etc there's also the unreal script inside which I'm not going to show you which will play the character animations that they have made already with the anim sets but over here you have like I say go duck etc you should be able to find the behind view somewhere around here I'm just gonna see if I can find it no nope, you don't but you'll have the you'll have some of the basic ones like walking look down duck you see I'm just gonna go to uh, default input quickly mm, see if we can find it here okay but you should be able to find it around here but I mean you can change some of the key bindings in the folder that I just showed you if you go to dark look just scroll down and find the key that is associated with it I'm just going to change some of this quickly no I won't need to edit any of that I'm just seeing if I can have a little look through, see if I can find the commands. They have somewhat decided to go missing though. Not too sure where, but that's just life. But yeah, you won't really need to go into any of uh, the extra details in here. But as you see, you got the basic commands. 
if you just go to press play quickly and then if you go in here you can find some in here Let's just say pause and it will pause the game and you can't do anything click it will unpause so to get to the command system on UDK you just want to go press T once you're actually in the game and then just move around and press enter or you can press tab just type it in like load map you can't do some of the load map and restart levels in the standard UDK editor you have to do that in the package when it's been packaged and launched which I'll show you in the 20th video which is going to be covering distribution so I'm just gonna end the video here thanks for watching comment like rate and subscribe and look forward to the next video which is going to go over the different types of sounds show you how to use them where to use them and how to trigger them off in kismet and put them in 3d space so thanks for watching and goodbye